The process for the management of the IP addresses is a wizard that helps the user to edit physical and virtual IP addresses of a certain asset using a single interface. This process is managed by the network specialists that can start a new process from the network folder of the navigation menu. In this first step, I am asked to select the hardware where I want to execute the change and I can also consult the data details of the selected server. Let's now click on Advance. The main interface of the process opens up. If you click on IP Addresses Hardware button, then you can view the network interfaces already available on the selected server. Here we can see the name of the interfaces. If they are physical, virtual, or ILO interfaces. The IP addresses associated to that network interface and if they are virtual IP addresses. For example, we want to edit the IP address of this network interface and map this interface to an IP address that was empty before. Let's now close and click on Advance. At this point, the process carries on a series of consistency controls in order to check that I didn't edit the IP addresses wrong. These changes will then be reflected in the cards of the network interfaces. In particular, we can see that moving on to the Network Interfaces class, the IP addresses of this network interface was really edited and the IP addresses of this network interface have been given a new value. So, for example, if we move the card to the server card, and open the Detail tab on the Network Interfaces, we can see the situation has actually been updated. By reopening the same process and selecting the same server, I can edit the IP addresses and the network interfaces of that server again. The advantage of doing it from the process, in spite of doing it directly from this panel, is the, in the fact that the process checks the accuracy of the input inserted by the user. This doesn't happen if I work directly on the Network Interfaces panel.